Today I'd like to make a short reminder how you can make two objects parallel to each other using add-on cat transform and I will do this based on the rotation of the grid. Actually there is already a video made by creator of this add-on cat transform on this topic but for me it was a little bit annoying to read the English subtitles and trying to track what's going on on the screen that's why I made this tutorial. So okay, let's start. We have our cat transform add-on activated and our object is activated also. And we begin by pressing this R button because we would like to rotate this object. So we hit the R button and we see our grid is in this inclined way. I don't like to have it at first step. That's why I toggle it off by hitting this G button. Now I'd like to select my pivot point of this object where I'd like to rotate this object around. So I'd like to rotate this cube around this vertex so for this case I hold down shift and I press the left mouse button being over this vertex so now my pivot point is activated and as you see my gizmo is set and pinned to this vertex in the second step I will take care of the grid therefore I will hit alt and G so my grid appears and my mouse is pinned to this origin of the grid so now i don't want to have this grid in this inclined way i'd like to have the grid in the usual way so it is parallel to my table like i have it here so i press my tap button on the keyboard once and now it's the grid in the proper way so i drag my mouse and hit right here being around this vertex left mouse button once then i hold down shift and drag my mouse to the second vertex of my object and hit the left mouse button so now as you see the x-axis of the grid is parallel to the face of this object and now i'd like to make the middle of this grid being right here above pivot point and rotation point of my this selected object and now i can press one more time alt g so now i can move my grid so and i can pin this grid to this vertex i hold down shift and press left mouse button so the grid is pinned right now to the vertex of this object and now i'd like to drag this vertex to this axis as you see i'm snapping to each part of the grid i'd like to deselect for now the grid by toggling it off i press g button on keyboard and now i can without problems hit this left mouse button and i drag it to the side and now i can one more time press g button and toggle the grid on so i can snap to the x-axis here and i just need to press left mouse button if you see these both faces are parallel to each other we can check it if we make a measurement i press two times up to deselect everything then i press g on the keyboard and i'd like to toggle the grid off one more time g now i'd like to make a measurement but as you see my x-axis is not parallel to this edge i'd like to make a new xyz therefore i press alt c and now i make the origin of my xyz of my new xyz i hit the left mouse button then i point the direction of my x-axis right here then i point the direction of my y-axis right here so now is my xyz set now i select this origin by pressing left mouse button and i go along the x-axis here i press x and i go till i reach this face as you see we have here 2.5541 and the same i measure from this vertex i press g and then i need to make my xyz one more time i press alt c and then it will be the origin of my xyz x-axis y-axis start point of measurement along the x-axis i hit the x-axis and as you see the same value it means these both faces are parallel to each other 